Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Justin from Lava Dragons. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Porygon. Alright, so I want to show you guys really quickly how I'm doing this using these two different monitors. So this one over here, that one right here, this is actually a PDF that you guys can download and it comes with all the instructions and you just cut out the pieces and glue them together and everything like that. I still recommend that you guys get this program though. This is called Pipakura and there'll be a link to this in the description as well. But the nice thing about this is it actually shows you how the pieces fit together. So like we can select this piece right over here and we can see that it goes right here. This is the base of the head. Or we can click on this one and we can see that's the top of the head and so on. We can see where the eyes go, we can see the body, we can see everything else. And it just helps the entire process go a little bit more smoothly and it's a little bit easier to work with. And like I said, you can take the model, you can spin it around and everything else. So while we're here, let me tell you really quickly what this program is. Like I said, it's called Pipakura, and what it does is it takes 3D models and it unfolds them. So you can kind of think of it as something like, I don't know, origami, but instead of creating like little folded shapes, we're actually taking bigger shapes and folding them and gluing them together and making 3D models. So Porygon's gonna be a really easy one to work with here because it already kind of has that same you know, polygonal shape. And when we're finished with it, you'll be able to see, you know, a lot of times these will kind of keep that same video game-esque style or look to them, or at least kind of an older video game style because there are a lot of polygons in here. But that being said, let's go ahead and put this guy together and we'll get started. Now, the neat thing about this particular hobby is that it doesn't really require a lot of tools. First thing you're going to need to do is take that PDF or the Pepakura file and print it out. So we have that right here. You're going to need something to cut with. We have a few options here. We have some good scissors. You can use just any other kind of scissors as long as they are very uh, sharp and you're able to cut small pieces with them. I personally like using an X-Acto knife just because it's a little bit easier and you get a little bit more control over it. I also actually have my uh, utility knife which I use for work and it actually does a really good job as well. It helps to have something to cut on so I have my uh, cutting board right here. It also helps to have something small and thin that you can use to, to fold the pieces over. So I'm actually using a dull razor for my knife right here. Or I also have, for larger folds, this, which is actually one of those things that you put at the base of a door so that when people kick it trying to open it, then it doesn't damage the door. So I'm using this as well. And then the other thing you're going to need is something to actually keep the pieces together. I tried everything from Elmer's glue to, like, tape. And what I found works best is just a good old-fashioned hot glue gun. So this is my little $4 hot glue gun that I picked up over at Hobby Lobby. And then I have a crap load of, uh, and then as you can see, I have a whole bunch of uh, glue sticks, just to be safe. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our pieces here and we're going to start cutting them out. So I'm going to change this camera angle a little bit because I can't even reach the pieces.
so that's the basic process for making something out of Pepakura. And it's very, very easy. It's very, very simple. It's fast. It's actually pretty fun. Be careful with your hot glue guns. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I can't move it any closer for it to zoom in. But I burnt myself pretty good. Personally, I've made everything from Pokemon all the way up to an entire RTD tube, which was pretty fun. In fact, I'm making another one right now. I have a Magikarp. I have my Bronze Charmander statue. And now I'm adding a Porygon to the list. It is now outside drying because I put some plastic dip on it. But this is the same thing you can do to make an entire Master Chief costume, for example. Or a Stormtrooper or anything like that. The only other thing I forgot to mention at the beginning is when you do something like this, it's best to use like really, really heavy cardstock because that way the, the folds will stay better and the structure itself is actually stronger. And that makes it so that way the entire thing that you're making is stronger and it will last longer. And then you can go out and do other stuff to it like, you know, reinforcing it with resin or adding Bondo to it, you know, body filter so that way you can actually fill out some of like the, those flat lines if you don't want those. And that gives it more of a rounded look, you know, a little bit more organic and not so computer. Now, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. And I'm thinking about doing a video on how I made this. So this is actually something I made here at home. And this is actually pretty cheap as well. So if you guys are interested, I will show you guys how I make Pokeballs as well. Yes, that'll do it for me though. My name is Tristan from Lava Dragons. Have yourselves an excellent day, and I will see you in game.